Hello everyone and I welcome you once again back to Jabby's Kitchen. Today I am here with a very simple dish which my mother used to make very very nice which was my mother's speciality and here I am to share with you all that recipe. This is Muli Anda Burji. For that what we require is 250 grams of Muli. This is uh, 250 grams of Muli which I have grated and one and half onion chopped five to six garlic crushed chili paste two eggs turmeric and salt now let's start making our muli anda burji so to make muli anda burji here i have taken two glasses water around 500 ml of water for 250 grams of muli and i have bring it to a boil and now I'm going to add muli to this and I'm going to boil this till the smell of the muli goes out at least for five to seven minutes I'm going to boil muli and to this I'm going to add around half teaspoon of salt and let this boil for around 5 to 7 minutes so once you add salt just mix it a little in water and keep the heat on medium and let it boil for around 5 to 7 minutes so friends here you can see it's almost 3 to 4 minutes my moldy is getting boiled and as it is getting boiled the color is becoming a bit transparent so I will boil it for another 2 minutes and then see uh, and then strain all the water out from the muli. So friends here you can see the muli is getting nicely boiled. So with this procedure all the bad smell of the muli that is radish is removed and uh, you will get an odorless muli with this procedure. So now it's around 6 to 7 minutes I am boiling it and let's switch off the stove and we are going to strain the water out so be very careful in a strainer see that you do not harm yourself okay friends so once the water is strained out we are going to wash the smoothing with cold fresh water This process the entire bad smell of Muli gets removed from it. So nicely wash it with cold water after you boil it. We have washed the Muli very nicely. Now let's start the further process. So friends, after washing, I have pressed it and squeezed out all the water from the muli. And now, let's start making the muli purji. So first, in a pan, take around two to three tablespoons of oil. To this oil, I'm adding around half teaspoon of. Uh, to this oil, I'm adding around half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Once the cumin seeds start crackling, you're going to add the onions to this. We are going to fry onions till they are pinkish brown in color. This is optional few curry leaves if you wish you can add if you do not want you can just avoid the garlic crushed garlic and the chili paste friends if you do not have chili paste you can also use uh, cut green chilies or if you do not have green chilies at all you can uh, use uh, red chili powder also 
this is totally up to you but uh, with green chilies you will get a very nice flavor so saute this nicely and to this we are going to add around quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of salt remember we had uh, put salt even in the mooli that is radish remember we had put salt even in the mooli while boiling so be uh, so just calculate and add the salt and now it's time to put the mooli after squeezing it it has come like this so just break it nicely mix it well wow friends there is not a bit odor here in this mooli now all the odor all the bad smell from the mooli has gone and this is smelling very nice while it is frying with the onions so those who don't like the bad smell of the mooli i'm sure they are going to love this dish and now fry this for around 3 to 4 minutes the mooli is really smelling very nice just uh, close the lid and cook it for only 3 minutes and then we will add the eggs to this friends now it's around 3 minutes and the smell of this mooli is very 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 awesome the mooli has nicely fried in all the masalas yummy 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 and now it's time to add our other ingredient it's time to add our another ingredient that is egg so we are going to add two eggs to the mooli and now mix 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 everything very very nicely the flame should be on medium the flame should be on medium and now fry this nicely just as you fry for your egg bhurji that is anda bhurji the same way you are going to mix it very nicely so once you add the egg you are going to mix it continuously so that the egg don't stick to the bottom and smooly egg bhurji wow look at this this is so 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 awesome friends very important is you should enjoy while cooking because once you start enjoying cooking you will not find it as a boring job you will try to make innovations in it and you are going to love your work so Look at this! Look at this! It's just wow. Friends, our mooli anda bhurji, that is mooli and egg bhurji, is almost ready. And now it is the time to taste whether salt and green chili balance everything is nice. So perfect. One last thing is. Just close the lid and let it cook for another two to three minutes, and keep the uh, keep the flame on slow, that is minimum. Leave it for another three minutes, and then your mooli anda bhurji is ready. So, friends, it's now three minutes, and finally our mooli is ready. That is mooli anda bhurji is ready. and it is really really smelling awesome looking awesome now let's dish this out quickly here my mooli anda bhurji is ready and you can see it is looking yummy delicious awesome and now it is my favorite part to taste and tell you how it is so hmm really awesome 
very tasty very yummy i hope you all will love this recipe the one who avoid mooli because of its smell you are going to love this also so please try my recipe and do let me know how did you like it also follow me on facebook and instagram with the same name jabi's kitchen and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe meet you very soon with another new recipe have a nice day bye bye